Hello and welcome to this edition of Ag Dealer TV. I'm your host this week, Scott Garvey. In early March, John Deere announced upcoming changes to its medium and large chassis sprayer line for the 2022 model year. They'll now be known as the 400R and 600R series. The 2022 lineup of 400 series machines will include four models with tank capacities from 3,028 litres to 4,452, as well as one with a 5.6 cubic metre dry spinner box. With their larger chassis, the new 612R has a 4,542 litre tank and the 616R carries 6,057 litres. The 600 Series 2 offers a dedicated dry spinner box on the 600R model. When it comes to power, Deere will continue to use the same 6.8 liter Powertech diesel in the smallest model, the 408R, which puts out 280 horsepower. That will give it a 32 km per hour maximum working speed and 48 km per hour on the road. The bigger 400s will get a 9 liter. With that extra power, the two biggest 400 series models are capable of the same field speed and travel speeds as the larger 600s, which is 40 km per hour in the field and 56 km per hour on the road. The power output from the 9 liter diesels in the 600R series jumps up to 355 horsepower on the 612R and 375 horsepower on the 616R. To deliver engine horsepower, all the 400 and 600 series sprayers use Deere's Command Drive powertrain. It automatically increases engine RPM when more power is required to maintain a constant speed and spray pattern. To keep booms at the correct distance above the crop, the new BoomTrack Pro 2 system offers improved height stabilization over the brand's previous system. The sprayers will get significant upgrades in their digital capabilities too. Each model will now leave the factory with a Starfire 6000 GPS receiver integrated directly into the cab roof. Generation 4 display terminal, auto track guidance, and a JD Link subscription. When it comes to the new onboard diagnostic system, it will provide operators with a more detailed and clearer explanation of a trouble code, along with a list of repair suggestions to help a customer try and fix the fault on his or her own without having to call out a dealership mechanic. Arguably one of the most important announcements Deere had about new sprayers was its intention to introduce a brand new feature on 400 and 600 models called See and Spray Select. Deere says it's the first step in an effort to provide application equipment to the market that takes a new more targeted approach to herbicide use. Rather than spray herbicide out every nozzle equally all the time, See and Spray Select controls all the nozzles on the boom individually. Each nozzle only sprays for a moment when sensors detect a weed underneath it. That can reduce chemical use by up to 77 percent according to Deere. See and Spray Select uses 36 cameras mounted across a 120-foot boom to look for any green plants underneath it. The onboard computer processes the camera data and decides whether or not to activate any individual spray nozzle. Field speed when using the system is 12 miles per hour, which is a little less than compared to a typical herb broad herbicide application. That's because the system is analyzing a little over 2,000 square feet every second. Operators can switch between the spot spray feature and just regular broad acre herbicide application with just the flick of a switch from the cab depending on their needs. At the moment though, Sea and Spray Select will have limited application. It's meant for growers who use some amount of tillage. That's because Sea and Spray Select can't differentiate between plant types. It only looks for green growing plants in a black field. If it finds them, it sprays them. But Deere says this is an initial launch of the technology and there's going to be more to come in the future that builds on what Sea and Spray Select has to offer and gives it an ever widening application. Well, that's it for this edition of Ag Dealer TV. 
Be sure to check back here regularly for a look at what's new in ag machinery. Thanks for watching.